Good day. I'm John McInerney, and welcome to my home and our home for ARCFE in Long Island City in a beautiful New York City. It is my pleasure to be able to help you understand our beautiful home, our future, our growth, and our potential. Uh, and I hope you, we can spend some time together to allow me to do that. <laughs> I was born and raised in Long Island City. Uh, I went to school here, my family was here. Because of that knowledge, when the real estate market was evolving in New York City, uh, it was my recommendation, uh, because of that background, to devote our interest, capital, and attention to Long Island City. And so far, that has turned to be a, a very appropriate decision by ARCFE at that time. Long Island City was primarily an industrial, very commercial area with a sprinkling of residential, low-rise businesses and uh, houses. Most of it was indicative of factories. We had a Silvercott Bakery factory. We had the Pepsi-Cola Bottling Factory. We had uh, train depots. It was uh, very much an industrial-oriented environment. When zoning changed here, 20 years ago, that changed the basis of growth in Long Island City from an industrial growth to a residential growth. Since then, the growth, expansion, and future of residential has grown exponentially in Long Island City from the days of my youth. There was a limit of services here in Long Island City, a limit of restaurants that, that you could go to, and if for example, if myself or my family was sick, we would have to take a taxi to Manhattan to be able to seek treatment. Today, there is first-class medical, dental uh, treatment in Long Island City. In addition, we have a diversity and growth of first-class uh, restaurants, cafes, bars, clubs that will satisfy every palate with the number and diversity of, of uh, restaurants that we have in this neighborhood. Uh, also in, involved, but for Long Island City, was the fact that it always was a transportation hub. A hundred years ago, Long Island City was a transportation hub. Today, Long Island City still remains that type of transportation with commuter rail line, eight subway lines, two ferry lines, three bridges, tunnel, and numerous uh, inter interway hardways that go into interstate highways. So Long Island City, because of that transportation, because of that location, has always been a primary goal for New York City. And now that it has developed into residential, it has become even more attractive, more growth oriented, and therefore more attention and future and capital will be spent developing that area. Another important aspect of, of Long Island City that has taken hold and is growing and flourishing is that with respect to the art, museums, culture, music, concerts that have now grown uh, in this community. As an example, Public School One, when I was a child, was actually a public school. Since then, it has been developed by the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art in New York to become a first-class art museum, art school, and ex exhibition center of art headquartered in Long Island City. We have uh, numerous museums. The Museum of Moving Image is in this area. That has to do with the start of the movie business in the United States long before there was a Hollywood that movie business was centered here. All the studios, all the movie stars, uh, all the uh, equipment for producing movies was located here. And we now have a history of that background that we flourish and grow with. So we still have now three to four studios, Kaufman Studios, Silver Cup Studio, uh, that all produce now primarily television shows but some movies. But it is a rich uh, past that has now flourished well within Long Island City. 
with that same rezoning that I discussed earlier from industrial, with a commercial aspect of rezoning, JetBlue uh, Airline is now headquartered in Long Island City. Uh, MetLife's uh, operation center is located in Long Island City. Uh, and a number of other large uh, in, uh, commercial companies have now placed their dual headquarters and operation centers in Long Island City as well. Now that we have some understanding of Long Island City, let's talk about what Long Island City does to attract people. Long Island City has some of the three basic aspects of real estate, location, location, location. We certainly have all three here and much more. As far as location we discussed, we have the transportation, we have the restaurants, we have the art, uh, and we certainly have the proximity to uh, commercial and, and Manhattan businesses. In addition to that, Long Island City affords skyline views of, of Manhattan, waterways that can take you out to all five boroughs. Long Island City has such potential in terms of dealing with its attractiveness. It has space much more available to it than the other boroughs. It certainly has an environment that is more inviting with respect to its parks, its uh, skyline views, and its uh, openness that gives people a sense that this is a value-based environment. It also has the growth factor that didn't exist in other boroughs because Long Island City uh, is indicative of, of new construction with state-of-the-art amenities and features in buildings with first-in-class amenities uh, that I think attract uh, a very upscale, uh, affluent, and uh, intelligent environment. For the uh, purchasers and investors of today, because of that potential, because of that growth orientation, and because what's afforded to you in this type of environment, it is very attractive for investment, for purchase, and for uh, future growth. So now, let's all combine what we've discussed with respect to the location, attractiveness, history, growth, and potential of Long Island City. What does this mean as a practical matter, what Long Island City's future is? Towards that end, let's talk about where today's market is. Long Island City is indicative of a very high demand of uh, new buyers, new renters, and people coming into New York City that find those features that I discussed earlier very attractive for demand. It also is indicative that it is slow and low inventory, which is in the pipeline now, but will not be coming on the market for some time. With limited supply and increasing demand, the market currently and in the future for Long Island City has been steady and active and growing and I have every confidence to believe that that will continue uh, well into the future. For all the reasons that Long Island City has been effective, has been attractive, will continue, and all we can do is ensure that we will be in the right place with the right product at the right time to take advantage of that opportunity. And we welcome you to join us in that. Thank you.